totally awesome fishing show where guys I've just had a phone call for an exclusive photo interview with some big fish I mean some really nice fish brown trout they're going to be stocked down at Diva Springs in Hampshire any of you have seen our fly fishing films know Diva Springs is one of the top fly fishing spots in England and these trout are coming hundreds of miles being delivered from Scotland and what's special about them two things a they're brown trout which a lot of fly fishermen like catching well B not just B for brown B for big these are double figure brown trout. They're going to be stocked into Diva stock ponds by Niall Stay. And here at Totally Awesome Fishing Show, we've been given the exclusive. No other press there, no other cameras there. You're only ever going to see this on our show. Let's get down there. I'm more fishing rod though, it's terrible, isn't it? Diva Springs knows all about producing huge trout. It's held the British records for both rainbow trout and brown trout. It gives the fly fishermen every chance of getting either their personal best or a double figure fish. Or if you're lucky, both. High volume pumps force plenty of oxygen into those stock ponds and in the heat of summer they have a blower system that enables them to maintain such a high density. You can fish the two clear fishing lakes year round and when the springs allow good clarity you can even see the trout take your fly. Now that's when it gets totally exciting. It's not unusual for the fishery to hold several trout in excess of 20 pounds ready to go in and test the fly angler's rod and line to the limit. But looking after a big fish water like Diva is a 24 7 affair. They have to be fed several times a day and the stock ponds constantly monitored. And then the fishing lakes have to be cleared of weed, as don't forget the gin clear water also allows plenty of sunlight through, and that means a prolific weed growth and therefore plenty of insects. For today, the totally awesome fishing show was given exclusive access to a delivery from Scotland of a consignment of big brown trout. These go into their own holding pond where they'll be grown on before being trickle fed into the fishing lakes. Trout can be delivered by lorry as long as they have specially adapted tanks and a constant supply of high pressure oxygen. Under normal conditions, a brown trout would live in a cold, fast, highly oxygenated river or stream. They stress easily under warm temperatures, so winter and spring is always a good time for all fish transportation. As well as being our native trout, the browns are actually more expensive to produce than the rainbow as they are slower growers. That means if they take longer to grow to the same size as a rainbow trout, then that fishery has a bigger bill of high protein and therefore very expensive feed. It's not every trout fishery in Britain that can afford to buy in double figure brown trout. But Diva is no stranger to that species as the biggest they've had caught on a fly rod weighed in at a staggering 28 pounds, two ounces. Now that's British record material. The stock ponds are fed by the nearby River Diva, a tributary of the world famous River Test. And with such high quality of water, they're able to produce the best trout. Fish like this can be delivered by lorry all over Britain. <laughs> Let's face it, anglers always like to catch big fish, but the truth is that most waters simply don't hold enough protein in the shape of natural food for a wild trout to grow much above, let's say, four pounds. Once they get to this weight, a diet of insects mean they actually burn up more energy eating those insects than they derive in a protein intake from the effort used. It's then that they turn to eating other fish, and this, in the case of the truly wild big brown trout, is what anglers call a ferox. On a diet of natural fish, a brown trout in a large body of water could grow as large as 30 pounds, and that really is the fish of a lifetime. But you'd be unlikely to get one to take your fly. They will be living down deep 
and are generally called spinners, plugs or dead fish. The benefit of fishing at Diva Springs is they are actually giving you the opportunity of catching a double finger brown trout on your fly rod and you can even get to see it take your fly if you're lucky. This technique is known as stalking and believe me those Diva Browns are a lot harder to catch than the rainbows. They're more likely to stay deep in the lakes looking for the cooler water where the springs come in so you need to use a heavily weighted fly that can get down to that depth. This delivery of Scottish brown trout had immaculate fat fish in tip-top condition even after their travels in the lorry of several hundred miles. There's just something about sliding a brown over the rim of your landing net. They are our natural indigenous trout and with all those distinctive dots and gold bellies are a delight for any fish photographer like me. Totally awesome. So dust off your trout rod guys, get yourself down to Diva Springs and see if you have what it takes to catch one of these incredible fish. Thank you.